That didn't come out too well. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, we need to talk about this. I know it doesn't match, but it's it got cold in here, and I didn't really want to put on a sweater because I don't have any sweaters at the moment. All right, so Snapchat. That app right there just became that right there. So I just deleted Snapchat, and here's the reason why. I love the concept of Snapchat and what it stands for. It's it's a great it's a great app. Don't get me wrong. It's a great platform for social media and a great platform in general. The reason why I deleted it. So reason number one, streaks. Those things, it it just messed with the whole algorithm of talking people, interacting with people. It just destroyed it completely. Because I felt like with streaks, you it was meant for people to interact. It was meant for people that interacted on a daily basis with one another, with conversations, and just they enjoyed talking to their friends on a daily basis, and they saw that number grow. But I felt like nowadays, you see a lot of people that just abuse it because they want the number. So like they'll just send out this one picture of something random completely and say streaks to like everyone that they have a streak with. It takes away the whole purpose of Snapchat, because then now you're not like snapping people that you actually enjoy snapping. You just want to see numbers. It doesn't make any sense to me. The concept of streaks initially was great, don't get me wrong, but when a concept like that proves that it has failed and a lot of people are just abusing it, I feel like at that point it's just wise to remove it altogether than have it come stick around and it just be a mess in general. Because in all honesty, a lot of people didn't really care about like messaging people anymore through Snapchat. So it just became like this whole thing like, you know what, I'm just gonna send it to her because I just want the numbers. And then people get upset, they lose streaks and all that. And I'm just here like, it doesn't make any sense to me personally. That was the first problem I had was, um, with streaks or with Snapchat. I love the concept, but on paper it sounds great. And then, but in tests in real life, for me personally, it failed. Reason number two, for me personally, I don't really care to see people's everyday lives. That's, and for me, the way people look at my everyday life is through vlogging. I vlog quite a bit and I vlog for you guys because I, I think I personally enjoy it and I think you guys personally enjoy it as well. Here's the thing, with Snapchat, everyone's a vlogger. So you can see everyone's day-to-day -day lives, everyone's all this and that, it gets overwhelming. Let's be honest, it just, for me, it's really overwhelming because I don't want to like look through my story and just see a bunch of things that I really don't care about. Because in all honesty, it's great and all seeing the stories, but it's just, I personally don't care. This is all personal preference, by the way. This isn't law. This isn't like, oh, this is what he said, so everyone, this is what I have to follow. No, this is just my personal opinion of why I got rid of the app. I feel like it is a very valid reason for me to delete these things because I personally don't care about Snapchat enough to keep it around. For me, when I have social media, I want to be able to interact with people and do all these things, stay connected. I felt like with Snapchat, it was doing the opposite pretty much. It was it was kind of limiting the interactions between me and other people because then it was just streaks. That's all anyone cared about. I rarely got people who actually like would snap me because they enjoy talking to me. I'm sure it's a personal thing, but it just that's just what it felt like because through all the social media people, I interacted with a bunch of other people, but I felt like Snapchat, it just didn't work. I felt like it just, it became a platform for getting numbers and seeing your number grow, which I personally think is like the dumbest thing ever for like a social media platform. It's like people who like post on Facebook, but they they only do it for likes, which I never understood that because that's kind of just like, oh, I want the fame, I want all this stuff. It's like, you're on Facebook. You're not gonna get thousands and thousands of like likes unless you're like a public figure, but that's it. I mean, it's, I did leave my Snapchat for a reason that is valid in my eyes. And if that's, that's all I care about. I don't really care what anyone else thinks. I just want to talk about it because then I feel like for the reasons of social media and why we have them, we just have to start to question them because sometimes it doesn't really, sometimes it really doesn't make any sense because, you know, we have Facebook but we never use it so why we have Facebook in the first place or we have a snapchat but all of these reasons that it doesn't really it doesn't help us apps in general and social media is supposed to help us grow to help us learn I feel like with snapchat I just didn't get that those are my just personal preferences and all that other stuff if you guys totally agree with me throw a like down there or show your support if you really don't agree with me well, tell me why in the comment section and then give me a like because, hey, why not? It's quite entertaining, right? And then comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.